Yo, what's up guys? I'm Grandmaster Shaman and welcome back to Flower Paradise and today we have another episode of our Robotics Notes Elite playthrough. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series to this point. I hope you guys do smash the like button and let me know in the comment section your thoughts on the series to this point. We're really getting into the thick of the main storyline now, so I think every every episode is, is going to start having a lot of really interesting and cool information. So uh, we're about to get some right now as well about uh, Mizuka-san's uh, history of finding ID about 10 years ago when ID was first installed. Pardon. So it's going to be very interesting to see. We also saw a little bit of uh, uh, Misane uh, at the uh, headquarters of the uh, XK, um organization i think it's very interesting the way that it's done uh i still don't know enough about misane to make a, a real strong connection on what kind of character she is but she does give off this kind of more diabolical kind of not a very good look for her to this point completely ignoring her younger sister and uh she definitely just gets that feeling that she's like part of the evil organization which just seems weird at least from where I'm sitting, uh, especially if that organization is the certain organiza uh, organization talked about in the uh, uh, Kimijima report. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts on the series to this point. Especially, uh, no, don't spoil it for anyone, but if you uh, guys have any theories or anything that you guys want to say in the comment section down below, let me know and uh, we'll see how it goes. I do, uh... Hmm. I mean, that makes sense. Did Misa, Misa couldn't have started this whole thing, though. But that is a, a very bold statement off the bat. So, not, not only does Misa know Aidy, but she is friends with Aidy. Now, she doesn't seem to be friends with Aidy anymore, but more than likely... She wasn't a real person, Kimijima right? Kou, ne? Ah, Kimijima was huh? a friend of Misane's. Interesting. I was shocked when I heard all of the all of this the day before yesterday. The last thing I expected was for Aidi and Ko Kimijima to be friends with N Misane, but at the same time, it wasn't all that surprising. Ushigakua Park is close to both my home and the Senomiya home, after all. The three of us would often play at the park when we were kids. もう一度教えてくれないかい? boot up IRUO on my phone droid to make things a bit easier to explain. For a second, it felt like my heart stopped beating. What, why, why is she here? I look around the store with my phone droid. But I don't see her anywhere. Was I just seeing things? Or perhaps... Aidy has been following me around. Maybe there was another Aidy here at the general store from the get-go. Either way, the fact that I saw her for a split second makes her feel like a real ghost. Yeah. <sighs> Once you're made aware of her existence, there's no putting her back in the box. That's why it pisses me off so much. It's too late to wish I'd never noticed her. No matter how much we try and stay out of each other's way, ultimately she's still there. No pretending thing it changes that. I hear her voice. As long as my phone droid isn't in sleep mode, I can hear Irie's voice even if I can't see her. It actually gives me the chills. As far as I'm concerned, I wouldn't be surprised if something like this got treated as a virus and erased. Her joyful tone kind of irks me. 
お話とは何でしょうお天気の話ですか明日7月12日の鹿児島県種子島屋久島地方のお天気は天気の話はいいそうですかああ君ささっき慰霊商店にいたでしょはい最近はお兄ちゃんに連れられてあちこち行きました、うん、学校とか旧空港とか慰霊商店とかお兄ちゃんのお家とかですなんだか遠足みたいで楽しかったです Her words are so innocent that they sound like they're from a grade school or summer vacation diary. つまりずっと俺についてきてたってことついていったんじゃなくて関連付けされているんです関連付けレポートファイルにです。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。しん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。I don't see it through IRUO. まさか俺のポケコンにレポートが移動したはいそうなるみたいです本気で言ってるあれってオリジナルデータなのそれをクリックしただけで移動しちゃうのコピーはい She looks lost. I'm guessing she doesn't understand. Time to call out g e i j i n e I tap on i r e displayed by the phone droid for a few seconds. <笑>確認しましたゲジネーモードに移行します今までの話は聞いてた把握していますでコピーじゃなく移動って本当はいカットペーストとなりますレポートに関連付けられてた愛理ちゃんはヤシオさんのポケコンに移動しましたそれは何で言うのそれは何で言うのそれは何で言うのそれは何で言うのそれは何で言うのそれは何でマジか、聞いてないよ。Feels like a big trap. I really should have just walked away after g e j i m e told me the password. レポートファイルのすべてに、ID が関連付けられています。Hmm. I mean, I suppose that makes sense. Like, to be fair, I, I know if I was in this situation, and she's like, this is what the、uh, code is. How can you not just be like, tempted to just click on it and see what it is, you know? It would be so hard to just completely ignore the fact that there's something there that, 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 that curiosity killed the cat. That is true. But curiosity, I feel like, is just in nature to be curious about things. Like, look at how a lot of you know, younger kids, like between five and, five and like eight, ask you just constant questions all the time about everything. Like, I just feel like it's in our nature to like, be curious about certain ideas and concepts. Not all of them, per se, but. A lot of them. That's why, that's why people are interested in stories in the first place, is they want, they're curious about what's going to happen. What, is, what is, are these characters going to do? And in this situation, you've got a button there, you know the passcode. Th- this whole thing is just such a fascinating scenario that there's some AI that appears on your screen that no one's been able to really come in contact with as far as you know. How can you resist pressing the button and putting in the code? Especially when it's just a file that, you know, is just explaining something. Of course, it, obviously, this is going to, you know, snowball into bigger stuff, but. If you have a mapping of the annotation, you can see that the annotation is a very good file. 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 レポートファイルの場所は GPS により追跡されています。移動した場合、該当の ID も同じように移動します。Well, if he's being tracked by GPS, then if ID is being controlled or monitored by anybody, that would be dangerous because they know he has the file. Basically, ID is being dragged along by the file in my possession, meaning she's stuck to me. In that case, I gotta remove this girl or app from my phone droid ASAP. Otherwise, ID will be visible in my phone droid 24 7. Plus, I don't think I can handle hearing your voice all, at all times. In class, when I'm asleep, in the bathroom. Report file. 
ナンバー1のアイコンを操作してくださいコピーカットペースト削除ができますオリジナルデータなら削除できちゃまずいんじゃない誰が手に入れるかわからなかったのにパスワードによるプロテクトがかかっていましたゲストユーザーはファイルを削除できませんああそうだったよそうだった I was only able to access it because for some reason I did give me the password This really feels like a setup 俺が誤って消しちゃったらどうするの削除した場合アイリおよびゲジネームを削除されますやっぱりそうなるよね Apparently, there are other IDs, so I don't really mind deleting her, but I hesitate since it's the original data. I mean, this thing is like Ko Kimijima's last will and testament. It'd leave a bad taste in my mouth if I just got rid of it, which means I should just return it to its original location. Instead. オリジナルのレポートファイルの移動にアイリは引きずられますコピーにはついていきません This is perfect, that's settled I search for the file on my phone drive simultaneously launch IRUO and drag the file out どうレポートファイルナンバー1はドラッグされた場所に移動しました位置情報、北緯三十度四十分、統計百三十度九十分。よしと。Now I don't have to drag an AR girl around with me wherever I go. I feel like I've been exorcised an evil spirit or something. ちなみにアイディちゃんさ、変なウイルスのキャリアになってたりしないよね。レポートにアクセスする人間に片っ端からウイルスを伝染してるとかやめてくれよ。たちが悪すぎる。該当するアイリおよびゲジネーについては、自己診断によりウイルス感染は確認されていません。だったら一安心。Assuming ゲジネー isn't lying, do AIs even lie? Nah, what a stupid question. Maybe I'm unconsciously treating ID like a human being since she can't talk like a human. There are all sort or she can talk like a human. There are all sorts of apps just like this. They're pretty popular, even. I bought a few in the past, and I'd always get tired of them after like a week. Anyhow, I hold my finger down on Idy's face. Like an on off switch, she's back to normal. Her tone and expression are kind of sad and lonely looking. She certainly knows how to pander. But I won't be fooled. Plenty of other apps do this too. Plus, I have more important business. I ask her about the one thing I wanted to compare. Aidi chan sa. Misane no koto shitte ru? Misane ete. Nan desu ka? Hito no namae. Senomiya Misaki. Misaki no koto nara shitte mas. O tomodachi desu. Hee. Misaka san was telling the truth. Iye, Misaki wa ima no o ni chan mi tai ni aeri no koto o oite it chai mashita. That's so sad. Na, nani sore hiniku? Da to shitara zuibun kodo na AI da na. Aeri wa atama wa ii hou desu. For reasons beyond me, she looks happy. It's these oddly human bits of hers that make me sad. Misane to wa issho ni asonda li shita wake. お話をしてくれましたその日学校で会ったことやお友達の話が多かったです水かけいこみつひこゆういちめいたかみあきほの話もよく聞きましたカイトとゲームをした話もしていました俺のこともみさきはいつもお兄ちゃんをゲームでコテンパンにしていると言ってました。バ、バディ。ですよね。ですよね。うん。ですよ。Why does she have to bring up my childhood trauma? Yeah, it's true that、uh, Misane used to body me at games when I was a kid. But you know, I'd get so happy when I did win that I'd, I'd jump all over the place. Now is not the time to trip down memory lane. 他には
ミザネイト何してたお話ばっかりですどこかに遊びに行くことはなかったですどんな話さっき言いましたよその日学校で会ったことやお友達の話カイトの話それじゃ普通すぎる普通すぎない友達とはどんな友達ですかいやそれはえっとねえ I feel like the fact that Aidy has such a unique existence is itself not ordinary. But as far as she told me, they only chatted like friends would. Did Misane not really treat this AI app like an actual friend? Didn't Mizuka san say something along those lines? Aidy was. Misa to Tomodachi datta. When I mentioned Ko Kimijima's name, Mizuka san lo、uh, looked deeply worried. I thought maybe something had happened. Aja, Kimijima Ko wa. Nani mono nano? この前、ゲジネイが説明しましたアイリちゃんにとってはどんな人だったわけマスターはマスターですアイリはマスターの手で生み出されましたマスター、huh? So, is he sort of like her father? I wondered what it would be like to be chained to your father's will for ten years Ah,、oh, crap, not again I'm letting her human-like appearance drive my thoughts She's just an AI, thinking about it is pointless AIs don't have feelings, they're just digital beings. Even ten years ago, this place was already an abandoned mess. There's no way he was expecting anyone to come here, so maybe he didn't want the file to be very visible. But then, this was a pretty lackluster hiding spot. Since it's abandoned, there's pretty no much no security. I can hear the fax like sound again. It's extremely faint. But thanks to the quietness of this nighttime park, at,、uh, as long as I keep my breathing to a minimum, I can hear it. What the hell is it? The whole building is full of mysteries. If I don't get to the bottom of this, I'll never be able to game here in peace, especially when it comes to what's at the bottom of those stairs. What could it be? <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> I don't want to see that stupid, like, thing again and get freaked out. The staircase leads down to the first floor of the building. I stand in front of it and can't help but groan. It's impossible to see down there. There's plenty of pitch black spots on the island, but this feels different. See, I don't like the, being in the dark in places that I'm not familiar with. That's what's more scary. To me, like, if I'm in the dark in my house, I'm not scared at all. But if I'm in the dark in the middle of an abandoned building, yeah, I'm terrified. I. I, I I'd much rather, you know, come during the daytime. Like on a Saturday afternoon, just go, go in there and, and, and hang out and have a good old time. It won't be nearly as bad. It, it'll be kind of creepy, of course, but I, I, I'm not nearly as scared. Like, look at, the, look at the corner of the staircase. You see how it's pitch black? Like, they, they, they didn't leave any room for it. It's just pure pitch black. Like, I, I couldn't do it. There's no way. I'd just be. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, I guess she's right, but still. Oh. See, that just. I'm like even more like, nah, fam. Nah. Not in the middle of the night. Oh, I can't turn on my phone droid. Peep, peep, boo. Tell you what to do, I'm gonna do. Dial tone. So the cause of that sound is down there. Oh, don't do it, man. Don't freak me out like this. What's with those endlessly vague answers? Whatever. I take a deep breath, steal my resolve, and step towards the darkness. Oh, God, don't do it. Once I reach the bottom of the stairs, I hear a low frequency machine like sound. It's a wee bit different than the dial up tone. My nose is feeling irritated, probably from all the dust. Not to mention there's a super strong stench. I really hope there aren't any dead rats or cats lying around. Oh, please don't do this to me. I almost trip over some junk and fall on my face. Don't you have a light on your thing? 
アイリちゃんってこういう暗闇状態だと普通の人間と同じように何にも見えなくなっちゃうわけ I'm not, I'm not, not gonna lie. I feel like, uh, I feel like, uh, Aidy's making this a little bit better. It's not as creepy with Aidy there, which is kind of funny because Aidy's existence is kind of creepy, te technically. Trouble is, in the dark, how very funny. アイリも見えますけど、屋内だと何にも見えません。Hmm. It's true that the virtual world viewer installed in IRUO doesn't map the insides of buildings. If that function is utilized by their eyes, there's no surprise that Aidy becomes blind. ってことは、この強度感の中でも何にも見えてないってことはい。使えないな。I ended up relying on my own vision and a weak light from the phone droid to proceed. I d o n t Nanga h i r a k i m a s t a k a I hit a dead end in the path and literally smashed my face against the wall. I light up the,、uh, the area in front of me as I rub my aching nose. That's when I realize it's not a wall, it's a door. Wait, is it? Oh my god. Okay, it looks like a door. There's no eyeballs or creepy shit, like freaking me out. Okay, okay. I don't see any knobs on this metal object, but it also looks way too out of place to be a wall in the abandoned building like this. This one spot looks brand new. Aidy, can you go into this room? Where is this room? Aidy, what is your father doing? I'm not going to see what you're doing. I'm not going to see what you're doing. It's creeping me out a little bit. Alright, that does it. Before, the,、uh, does that mean even Aidy has never been inside here before? Well, either way, how am I gonna get in? There's nowhere to hold on to. Plus, I don't even know if I'm supposed to push, pull, or slide the thing. I try pushing it to start with, but it doesn't budge. Then I lightly stroke it with, strike it with my hand. It doesn't sound very thin. One of the windows on the first floor was sealed with a metal plate. Judging by the relative location, this must be that room. Given、uh, how tightly it was sealed up, getting in from the outside is no good, which means this has to be it. Maybe I should summon Gaijine and ask her. E can I even find Aidy in this darkness? Okay, don't kill me, don't kill me. Don't oh my god, okay. Password. Okay, it's another geotag, okay. If I put the right password, the door will open? <sighs> That、uh, sure seems like a familiar situation. Back then, Gijine gave me the password without having to ask for it. One that definitely wasn't supposed to be leaked.、Uh, and a part of me was hoping that she'd do the same thing again, but she stays silent. You know what? I'm not gonna lose. Let's try the password from the other day. I believe it was Hidden Hand. Enter. The door opened. Okay, there's nothing creepy in here. Something's off. This is just a random room in an abandoned building in the sticks. What is this? The window's sealed with a metal plate. The door itself is sealed with a digital lock. I almost forgot where I am for a moment. It's like the place is connected to another world or something. The door opened in,、uh, via the hidden hand password, which means this place was built by the person who put the report file here. Ko Kimijima. He's undoubtedly involved with all this. Despite the windows being closed in the middle of the summer, the room is unnaturally cool. There's no ceiling lighting, but the red glow helps me feel, get a feel for the room. I just stand at the entrance, breathing heavily. It feels like I'm about to,、uh, if I make the slightest of noises, I'll be caught by some unknown force. This room, I don't know why, but it makes me tremendously uncomfortable. It. It's obvious to me what this place,、uh, that this place is weird, but I can't put my finger on why it creeps me out so much. It's weird, sure, but beneath that weirdness is a further layer of something unsettling. A cold sweat drips down my back. Before I know it, my cheeks are soaked in sweat. The first thing that catches my eye is a mysterious device in the center of the room. It's fairly large, taking up most of the space in the small room. The thing at the,、uh, is almost as tall as the ceiling. It's got quite the presence, and it's running to boot. The low frequency humming noise proves it. The LCD screen is,、uh, on it is lit, and there are blue LED lights lit up too. 
It looks like a giant copy machine, but the numbers and flags displayed on the screen are clearly out of place. I should stay away from that thing. My intestines are screaming at me. This is on a whole different level than Irie or even the Kimijima report I stumbled upon. Why, you ask? Because who in the world is supplying electricity to this device located in a room in an abandoned building? This is actually genuinely absurd. Wasn't this place supposed to be abandoned? Why is there electricity? The robots club hangar doesn't even have electricity, but that's because the hangar was abandoned. Of course it doesn't have a current. So either the electric company screwed up, or this place that only looks abandoned and is being used for something else. What the hell is this place? Completely baffled, I look away from the machine. That's when I realize something. The reason I feel so uncomfortable. The digital lock, the strange machine, the running power, it's all weird and surreal. But, that's not why. That's not why I feel uncomfortable in this room. In the corner of the room is an odd wooden table with a foldable chair. It's the cause. Sitting on the table is something terribly unusual. I initially sought the old PC or something, but its shape was too weird for that. It's about the same size as the toolbox that we use for a club. On either side of its black form, uh, of its black form are speakers. There are several buttons sitting at, the t at its top. There is some kind of cassette player. An audio playback device is used uh, that used cassette tapes, popular in the 90s. I think Dad's still, Dad's old one is still in storage. Boldly sitting in front of the cassette player is a mic stand. It makes sense uh, to think it was uh, placed there to capture whatever audio came out of the cassette player. This is creeping me out. More than the generator-looking machine, more than the digitally locked door, this cassette player, mic, and folding chair all suggest one thing. Someone has been here. Someone placed the cassette player there and mic there, then put down a chair to sit on. Who? Sure, both the door and the machine are undoubtedly man-made and put there by a real person, but this mysterious person's unsettling presence comes through stronger from the cassette player and the mic. I feel like throwing up. I want to get out of here as, as soon as possible. If I get any more stressed out, I could risk getting an attack, but I also can't afford to leave here without checking the player. Why? Because I realize there's a tape in this tape desk. I've read online that people who used to record things on cassette tapes and listen to them, long before I was born anyway. God damn. I will say this is, I just, I don't want to get jump scared, you know? That's all, I, I hate jump scares, like with a passion. You know, everything else is fine. It can be creepy and ominous, but the fact that I feel like, you know, someone's going to come out and like, you know, take him or something, you know, that's what freaks me out. That's what I don't like about it. I hate jump scares. That's what, uh, if you guys haven't seen me play Doki Doki Literature Club, they like to do jump scares uh, quite a bit. So it's uh, it's kind of that, that sort of thing where I can, I, I mean, I can handle it, but the fact that I feel like someone's going to come out and do something is what really scares me. See, I'd just take the cassette player and leave. If your dad has an old one, then you should be able to just take it and go, right? Oh man, the sentence is cut off. As if I'd been pulled there by the unseen, I'd already pressed the play button. The cassette tape begins to turn, no sound. Why does it work? Well, I confirm there's a power cord coming from its plugged in a into an outlet. There really is power <laughs> here. Then all of a sudden, the Kagome Kagome me melody begins filling the air of this once quiet room. Something about it is off, distorted. I listen closely. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I started replaying. I think back on my conversation with Juna from a few hours ago. <laughs> this has to be a coincidence, right? I doubt Juna knows anything about this room. I find it hard to believe that she led me here. But this is all too much to be incidental. The more I think about it, the more unsettled I become. I could think about this for a few hours, for hours on end, but I doubt I'd reach an Aida answer. Hi. Oh my god. She's at least here. I look at over to the generator-like machine again. Now that I've seen it, I just can't ignore it. I want to curse my own stupidity. Why in the world did I come here? Oh, this is all because I couldn't let sleeping dogs lie. The moment I ran into Aidy, I was doomed to come here. ピーガガガって音の発信源はこの装置なの。アイリはピーガガガなんて言ってないですよ。ピピップです。そんなニュアンスの違いはどうでもいいんだけど。その装置がこれなの。これってどれですか? 
か機械だよでっかいやつ変なものならきっとそうです Looks weird You gotta give me more to go on than that That's way too big だったらレジネーに聞くはいそうしてください God man I'm worried about some crazy shit is gonna Idy's glancing around aimlessly I guess she can't tell where I'm standing Without warning, I tap on her eyes to avoid any further pointless bantering. Access を確認しました。ゲジネーモードに移行します。旧南種町郷土館の1階に封鎖された部屋があった。君に教えてもらったパスワードで開く部屋だ。そこにある機械は一体何なのエギシステムです。エギシステム。Hmm. Gijinia once again reveals the truth to me without any hesitation. Okay, it's in the space. So, are they trying to contact aliens or what the heck? Okay, so, are they trying to contact aliens or what the heck? Is she talking about the, that one metal tower near the ジャクサのだよね。宇宙が丘観測所のものと同じ。See the mystery part's the good part. I don't really like the fact that someone could come out at any time, you know? Especially when there's no music. 違うのじゃあどこ管轄としては不明です。不明ってな何それエギシステムは10年以上管理者不在のまま作動しています。マスターの死亡とともに管轄は宙に浮きましたうん、マスター・コキミジマ、アマスミジョー、キミジマコーが作ったのは事実なのはい。作った人が死んだのに動き続けてるなんておかしいでしょう。電気代は、right. 電気代誰かが電気代を払ってなきゃ電気は止められるじゃないか。はい。誰がそのお金をゲジネーは把握していませんイルオの会社とか幸せフォーユーはエギシステム構築には関わっていません誰が払ってるか調べることはゲジネーは検索エンジンではありません特定ワードに関する情報収集ボットです検索はヤシオさん自身でどうぞああそう Time to get out of here. If I stay any longer, I'm really gonna hurl, hurdle. As soon as I get outside, I take a deep breath. My shirt is soaked in sweat. The evening breeze feels cold because of how moist I am. Warning. I sit in place and start talking to Gejine again. だとアイリは認識しています。どっちでもいい。So、マスターは太陽に対して有益さ、有害さの両面から非常に注目していました。I mean, that's fair. もちろん、太陽嵐は地球全体に影響を及ぼす災いと言えますが、それと同時に極大活動期に入った太陽は魅力的で宝の山だと発言しています。なんでいきなりスポークスマンみたいに語り出したわけアイリがマスターと過ごした時間はそれほど長くありませんゆえに保存してあるマスターの言葉もまた多くはないのですそれらの言葉をアイリおよびゲジネーは自立行動の指針としていますキミジマコーはこの島で何をやろうとしたわけキミツジコーです。キミジマコーはどうして死んだのマスターは殺されました。Her response is so straight to the point that I nearly missed it. He was murdered. She really just said that. 誰に Jesus Christ. 該当データは削除されています。It's been deleted, so they must have like control over her or something. That was unnecessary, by the way. That whole freaking thing, especially with no sound. 
mean, mean game, mean. But that does bring up an interesting point. And I feel like, based on how the story is going, that it has to do with Misane and the ex Corporation. More than likely. Deleted? you got to be kidding me. ID is part of IRUO. So the only ones who can delete ID's backup data is the company in charge, Happiness for You. Are they behind this? Was it some kind of internal strife like that you can see on the news? No, that can't be all of it. This is getting crazy. The things written in the Kimijima report are starting to feel more and more real. The report that once looked like a conspiracy ravings of a con artist. All of it is true. If Cole Kimijima was murdered because of the report, what in the world is going on in Tanegashima? Oh, thank God that part is... No one jumped out. No jump scares. I mean, that, that weird buzzing noise was a bit sketchy, but... Oh, Frau is here. Frau Kojiro. Well, I, we will get to that in the next episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you guys hit that like button down below for me because you already know your support's greatly appreciated. And let me know in the comment section what you guys think of the game to this point. Do you... Anything from the uh, dialogue and the very mysterious uh, translation to the actual storyline itself. Make sure you do avoid spoilers, but if you guys have conspiracy theories on what you think is going on and stuff, let me know in the comment section down below. So we'll see you all in the next episode. Thanks for coming.